Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org, back with another tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this uh, tutorial, we've already looked at, or in the past tutorial, we've already looked at connecting to our database. Now, um, to make this a lot more efficient so we can include it where we require it, I'm just going to get rid of everything in our index.php file, and I'm going to create a new file. Uh, make sure this is enclosed in PHP tags and the reason I'm doing this is I'm now going to save it as connect.inc.php now what I can do with this now is whenever I open up a new page let's say it might be index.php or something else.php all I can do is up the top I can require connect.inc.php and this way we've required this file to be um, to first of all exist because require will kill the rest of the page if this can't be found second of all connect connects to our database so now what we can do is under here we can start doing things to allow us to um, grab some data from our database okay so let's assume that we've connected to our database properly let's come into database and refresh from the last tutorial okay we've got nothing up so under here let's echo uh, maybe OK out just so we know that it's working let's refresh okay so we've got okay so the first thing we know is that we've required the file correctly the file exists second of all we know that we've connected properly because we haven't killed here so um, this should always come at the top of your page so let's go to um, PHP my admin and inside this a database I'm going to insert some um, some uh, data so Oh well, we need a table first. Uh, I'm going to call this table food. And number of fields, I'm going to say, let's say we need an ID field, we need um, the name of the food, and I'm going to say the calories and whether it's unhealthy or healthy. So I'm going to have four fields. So let's create these fields. Um, we're going to ID with, is going to be int. Um, we're going to have the index as primary because this is a unique and AI which is auto increment is going to be uh, yes so we want this auto increment next is going to be food and then we're going to say calories and then we're going to say I'm going to call this healthy or unhealthy I'm going to call it HU um, in fact let's make it a bit easier to see healthy unhealthy and this is going to be equal to um, I'm going to say a varchar length one so if the food's healthy this value is going to equal h if it's unhealthy it's going to equal u uh, the food i'm going to say var chart of let's say 25 and calories is going to stay an int because we're always going to have an integer number for the amount of calories in the food so let's go along um down here and I'm going to click save so let's uh, hopefully we're going to return yep we've returned um, table has been created so let's browse we can't browse the data but we can see the structure we've got ID as a primary key in int food of a var char 25 calories in healthy and healthy var char 1 so we're storing either an H or a U for this okay so let's go and insert a row of data I'm going to put the food remember the ID can be blank because that's automatically going to equal 1 the food I'm going to say pizza, the calories I'm going to say a thousand, and unhealthy or healthy I'm going to say you for unhealthy. Um, uh, let's just untick this ignore and we'll insert another row. Food, uh, let's say salad, uh, calories I'm going to say 200 and I'm going to say it's healthy so I'm going to put an H. So let's click on go. That's inserted them two rows, that's successfully done. Now we can click browse and view this data. So we can see that we've got an ID which is unique, we've got the food name, the calorie amount, and healthy or unhealthy. So let's say I want to select um, all the data and display it. Now to select all data we need to first perform a query as we've discussed um, that needs to select all the data. So I'm going to uh, create a variable called query and this is going to be equal to some string text. So I'm going to be using double quotation marks because remember we're using singles inside the uh, inside the query. So this query is going to be select. Now we need to mention the field names. So select, uh, I'm going to say food and calories. So food, calories, separated by a comma, 
from oh with a space so from and this table is called food so we need to mention that where in fact we can encase these in um, here as well so we're selecting the field food and calories which is what we're going to display if we needed to display for example the ID as well we choose ID but we don't we just want to we just want to uh, keep that hidden for now so food calories from food where and I want to say um, in fact no don't want to say anything that's it we can specify an order by so we can say order by ID for example that's absolutely fine so order by ID now what we need to do is we need to um, actually perform the query as far as this goes we haven't actually executed the query within the database if we refresh our page you can see that nothing's happening we're not actually executing the query so query um, I'm gonna say run equals now we're using this mysql query function to actually run the query so you can either use the mysql query function on its own and insert your uh, structured query language in there or what you can do is just then pop that inside of it so we're popping this query in here and then this is running the query okay um, what we can also do is we can use this or die um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say um, sorry I've just deleted that I didn't mean to comment that out I'm gonna say if query run equals mysql query query then run this block the reason I'm doing this is because if the query is successful this will evaluate to true and then we can continue with our code but I'm gonna say otherwise query failed okay so echo query success now what we're not doing is we're not displaying the result of this query just yet we're just performing the query we can use some functions later on to display the results but for now what we're doing is we're just saying query success if this query makes sense and, and returns something and is structured properly Otherwise, we're saying query failed. 